So today I'm going to talk to you about how to stop getting your shot blocked in basketball. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can stop getting your shot blocked in basketball. Now this is kind of a one of a two part series that I'm going to be giving out here on YouTube. So this is kind of the theory behind it. And then once it gets a little bit warmer outside, because right now it's it's cold uh, we're gonna go and do the actual real kind of drills and information on the court that you can use yourself now this this is the theory behind stopping your shot from getting blocked the number one tip that I'm going to give to you is to get get more arc on your shot and to do that what you need to do is be able to when you shoot make sure that you're reaching up as high as possible you're not shooting forward you're shooting up the reason you want to do this is to get more arc which if there is a defender on you well you're gonna be able to get that ball over top of him now a really great player that you can watch who does this really super well is Dirk Nowinski he releases a shot super high and he's already a very tall player this makes his three-point shot one of the hardest to block in the world ever because he's seven feet tall he's jacking up a very high arcing three-point shot you're not touching it and if doesn't matter if you're shorter medium range or like ridiculously tall if you have a high arc on your shot you're shooting straight up you're gonna be killing it when it comes to players who are trying to block you because they're just not going to be able to now when you're going in for a layup same aspects apply you want to try you want to try and get as much arc as possible now what you can do Obviously with a floater, same idea, you want to get that ball as high as possible, which means not shooting forward, but shooting straight up. Your wrist is what's going to give it the distance forwards, while your arm is going to be the one that's giving it the length, or I mean the height, sorry. So from there, same thing with the left hand, what you can do is stand in front of a basket, uh, three feet away, and try to get as much arc on it as possible going straight up let me go sideways and I'll show you what I mean going straight up you're not shooting forward you're shooting straight up just like that not forward not on a 45 degree angle straight up now that is some theory to go behind stopping your shot from getting blocked now going in for a layup what you want to do a lot of coaches will teach you and even myself I teach my players to hit the top corner of the box on the backboard usually there's a, an orange box or a black box you want to hit the top corner of it going in for a layup now that's okay if you're wide open if you're younger but once you get to high school you're gonna have players who can jump that high to pin the ball against the backboard and you don't want to have that happen because for one it's a great momentum for the other team but for two well let's face it it sucks getting your shot blocked so what you need to do is aim higher you want to be able to get the ball still top right corner of the backboard this time it's the backboard not that square and you want to be able to train yourself to be able to hit the top of the backboard and let it drop in now what a lot of players will do is they'll put a little bit of spin on it so that it spins into the basket personally it depends on how much wrist strength you have you can do that Personally though, if you're coming in on an angle, obviously if you're not coming in straight on, if you're coming in on an angle, you want to hit the top right of the, of the backboard and you're not going to be able to do this successfully right away. This actually takes time and practice. You're not going to be able to practice usually on an outdoor court because those backboards have the top corners cut off. So what you need to do is find a backboard that's square and practice that yourself so inside of a school inside of a rec center or wherever there's a real basketball net maybe at your training facility if your if your coach has one but anyways I hope that this tips video has helped you as a player if uh, if you're a coach share this video with your players as well it might help them 
But also, there is a part two coming this summer where I'm going to be able to be on the court and being able to explain to you a few things, uh, how you can make your shot and some drills that you can run yourself with more to have more arc on your shot so that you don't get your shot blocked as much. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.